in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a highlighted text effect using adobe premiere pro welcome back to the channel my name is c jam and here we are already in premiere pro with some text that we're going to be highlighting and as you can see the text is already here all i need to do now is use or highlight effect and how i'm going to do that is by using some rectangles that we're going to create here inside of adobe premiere pro and we're not going to be using any plugins right so the first thing i'm going to be doing is going up to graphics and titles go to new layer and then rectangle and here we'll get a rectangle on screen and i'm just going to draw this out to the full length of our widest text right and that's about there let me just zoom this in for you guys so you can see some more okay so here's our shape what i'm going to do next is change the color of my rectangle to like a standard highlight color which is usually some kind of bright color that stands out next i'm going to change the blending mode to multiply so i'm going to go down to opacity here under my motion right opacity and then go to multiply here we are now we can see through the highlight and we can see the text behind it now i'm going to go back up to my shape under my effects controls i'm just going to adjust it slightly you know so it's not too touching the edge of the text like so and let's bring it to about here that looks good to me and now i can animate this by using the crop effect so what i'm going to do is come over here under my effects type in crop drag crop here onto my graphic and then if i come down to crop let me close some of this let's close the shape let's close motion you'll see that crop is right here right now what i'm going to do is just wipe the 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 highlight from left to right because you know we read from left to right so what i'm going to do is just find the right side of the crop or i can click on the word crop itself let me zoom back out all right so now that i'm all the way zoomed out we can see our bounding box on our crop and all I'm going to be doing is just animating the crop with some keyframes and just let it drag out from left to right like so, right? So let's just go to the right hand side like so. Let's bring that all the way over to 100% or to about there. That's let's do 80% and then let's come further in our timeline because where we were just now with the playhead, it's at zero. Like when the video just begins, right? And let's say you wanted to wipe at a duration of like one second so by the time you come to a second it's already wiped or it's already highlighted that first line and let's just bring this back down to zero from the crop so now if i go ahead and press play you'll see all of that text is now highlighted right and if you want to make this faster or slower all you have to do is just adjust this keyframe and then press play and you see you can affect the speed so what i'm going to do next is just highlight it the second line which is shorter so let me zoom back into 100 percent here's our highlight right let's go out some more to 75 all right let me just duplicate this graphic by holding alt on my keyboard and just clicking on it and dragging it up a track now we have two of them what i'm going to do now is go under mo vector motion or if i want to move the shape itself i'll go under my shape go down to transform underneath that and just move it down a little bit like so right and we already have the crop effect but remember this shape needs to be smaller because there's less text here and all i have to do is i can just decrease the crop or pause the crop when it reaches about here on the window right or i can just shrink the shape the size of the rectangle that i have for this crop you have two ways to shorten it now if i go to play let's see what happens you see it's highlighting both of them at the same time but that's not what we want we want it to happen after the first one completes which is about here now let's just move the second one let me change the label of the second one from lavender to iris so you can tell the difference let's change the highlight of the text as well to mango so you can tell each of our tracks differently and this graphic is our um or white background the rec rounded rectangle right so let's move this down in the timeline some more so that completes there so we want that when that one finishes the second line begins so let's go ahead and press play and all i did was just move this down in my timeline right Control and z to undo now let's press play spacebar see that and remember i told you earlier if you wanted to speed it up you just shorten the duration of these keyframes like so right now let's see what we have 
that's looking much better let me just drag this back now let's press play let's move it back some more all right let's press Control and S to save our project because we have not been saving. So Control and S to save our project. Now let's press play. See that? And there you are. That's how you create a highlighted text effect in Adobe Premiere Pro using built-in features such as your rectangle shapes, right? So have you ever seen a highlighted video on YouTube or on Instagram? Have you ever thought about doing it in Adobe Premiere Pro? Did you know that you can do it in Adobe Premiere Pro? Let me know. And if you like this video and you want to check out another one of my Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials, click or tap the screen to watch that video right now.